What's up, everybody? Uh, so first off, uh, just hit 11,000 subscribers. Uh, so thank you guys so much uh, for supporting the channel. It's a pretty awesome milestone, 11,000 subscribers. Uh, but also, um, the big news for me is I am going to the National in Chicago, uh, which is at the end of July, and uh, I am super excited. I, I am heading out uh, Thursday night, uh, that's when I'm flying out, and I just booked my flight. Uh, Thursday night, heading back on Sunday. Uh, so I'll have all day Friday and all day Saturday to kind of walk the floor, to see everybody. Um, just my overall thoughts, you know, my big thing going to the show, a couple of things. Uh, first off, maybe the most important thing is just the overall experience. Um, for those of you that have never been to a, a, a national, it's like the Super Bowl of baseball cards. Um, you know, I've, I've heard some people mention that uh, they don't think it's worth it to go to the national, which is a very bad take because it's like it's almost like saying it's not worth it to go to the, the Super Bowl because it's too expensive. Well, it's it's more about the experience than anything else to me. I mean, the, the, the national that I went to about two years ago. Um, the memories I have from that and just the overall experience was absolutely fantastic. And I'm so glad to be going back. Um, the, all of the different YouTubers that are out there, you get to meet all of them. The show is just over the top. <laughs> it's, I, I recommend just kind of, you know, if you're going there for the first time, just, you're going to need a couple hours just to kind of soak it all in. Uh, but all, obviously also to come with a strategy, which I'm uh, going to go over with you guys in a second. But of course, the experience, um, meeting everybody. Uh, so please, you know, if you've been watching my channel, please come over and say hello. Uh, and I'm also looking forward to, you know, there's going to be a ton of other YouTubers uh, that make content. So I'm going to do my best to walk the floor and just meet everybody. And I'm sure I'll be easy to, to, to identify. I'll be wearing the, the red fanny pack. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and I'm sure I'll be hanging out with all the other YouTubers. So if you guys see you know, some of the other guys that you see on YouTube all the time, I'm sure I'll be hanging out with them. So, um, unfortunately I just booked the hotel, like I mentioned. Um, and because I waited so long, I'm like a little over a mile in terms of, uh, like all the hotels that were close to the convention center, uh, were all taken already. So, um, I went with a hotel. It's about a mile, a little over a mile away, but, uh, whatever I'll, I'll, I'll be in the vicinity. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I'm going to flip the camera around. I just want to show you guys, um, basically what my strategy is. Cause I feel like you need a strategy. So, uh, let me walk you through in my head, what my strategy is going to be. Who knows that may, <laughs> by the time I get there, I might meet some guy in the hotel lobby and then that will all, uh, get thrown out the window like it did two years ago. Um, but, uh, here's my strategy going into the national. Like I said, super excited. Let's go. Let's go over the strategy. All right, guys. So uh, the strategy. Well, first of first of all, um, now last year or two years ago when I went to Chicago, I was just in a, in the right place at the right time. I had a little extra funds, a little extra, <laughs> and uh, ended up walking out of the show with this beautiful card. Uh, it might be the the nicest vintage card that I have in my collection. Uh, the Cap Anson. Um, was super excited to add this. Like I said, I met the guy <laughs> at the. Uh, uh, hotel lobby and it ended up basically uh, walking the floor at the National and this was the nicest uh, Cap Anson card. This was one of my targets uh, at the National and I ended up getting it uh, like literally the morning before I even got into the National. Um, and then uh, after I walked the floor, uh, you know, we, we made a deal on the, the Cap Anson, uh, I think later that day. Um, so I ended up walking away with this. I also um, at the National tried to pick this card up um, I remember I offered um, a, a pretty nice, I think it was 11K for this, and the guy turned me down, and then I ended up uh, buying it uh, a couple days later for about $2,000 less. Uh, so uh, after the, you know, even though I didn't technically buy this at the National, um, these two are the big cards that I bought, um, you know, within a week, uh, week time of the, the National. And I definitely... Uh, will not be able to buy anything like that this year. Unfortunately, I just don't have the cash flow for it. Um, so I have, a, I had to go with a strategy, guys. So here is my strategy. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring some lower end cards of guys that are super, super hot. Now, 
We're still about four weeks away from the national. So anything could change between now and then. Um, but right now, the two guys that are super hard, uh, super hot are Vlad Guerrero Jr. and uh, Shohei Otani. Those two, to me, are the, the hottest uh, cards right now. Um, now, Wander Franco, it's so funny because Wander Franco, uh, he was his cards were hot. I think it lasted for about a day. And then that was over. But um, if his cards get hot again, who, who knows? Maybe I'll sell this one. But um, if it continues, and now my strategy could completely change by, between now and the show. Uh, but my plan is going to gonna try to sell some of these lower end cards, you know, of guys, um, whoever's the hot player at the time. Um, I'm going to track it like leading up to the show and then try to sell, you know, some some of these lower end cards for cash or or part of a trade. So uh, cards like this. Uh, here's another Vlad card. Uh, here is the Panini Elite in a PSA 10, um, Bowman Platinum, uh, Topps Chrome Update. Now, if you have a table at the show, they, these cards will be easy for them to sell, which is part of the strategy is like they should be pretty liquid. I mean, th these are cards that are, you know, of a guy that's super hot right now. He's on his way to win uh, possibly a triple crown uh, in the American League. So you figure his cards will be easy to, to sell and then they'll be just as easy to sell for you know anybody who's got a table. Um, and then of course, um, these two cards would probably uh, get me some big bucks at the show. So we'll see, you know, um, I'll see what, what kind of money I can get for those. I have thought about selling this uh, DeGrom. Uh, I mean, I pulled this out of a pack. I, I have literally no money into this card. Um, and so this could free up some funds. I, you know, again, guys, I'm not doing this because, um, you know, I'm not trying to make money or anything, but I've realized, <laughs> uh, that if I want to get the cards that I want, sometimes you got to sell some cards that you don't necessarily, or, you know, I, I don't love, you know, I'm like, I like DeGrom a lot, but he's not, you know, um, you know, I'm a Yankees fan guys. So, um, you know, and then Otani, um, these cards are really hot. The Topps Update, the Topps Chrome, um, the uh, Topps Pitching. Here's another uh, in red jersey, all PSA 10s. Uh, you guys know I picked this card up a while ago. This is him uh, on the Ham Fighters. This might be one of those cards that's difficult to sell. Uh, so we'll see if I can get the right price. Who knows? Um, and then uh, the uh, Sapphire Edition and uh, the Otani Mega Box, uh, all in PSA 10. So that is my strategy. Like I'll probably spend uh, the first day, you know, Friday, just sort of walking the floor, saying hello to everybody, but maybe start kind of getting some feelers around, you know, whether I can get some money for some of these cards. Um, but ultimately, um, my plan, I've identified a couple of cards that I want. Uh, so the first card, well, it's pretty much, uh, Joe DiMaggio. <laughs> I want to add to my Joe DiMaggio collection. I have the 39 play ball DiMaggio, but I would love, 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 love to add the 1938 Gaudi DiMaggio card, a card that's grown on me over the last five years. Um, I just, it's a card that I feel like it's an iconic card. That I, that's not in my collection and it bothers me, especially as a Yankee fan as and as, especially as a fellow Paisan. Um, uh, the 38 Gaudi uh, DiMaggio or the 41 Playball Joe DiMaggio um, card. So those are the two cards that I'm probably going to be going after. Either that and then my other thing that I'm going to be looking very carefully at is the 19, uh, like a really nice 1952 Tops card. So I'd love to add to that collection. Uh, you guys know my dad's uh, always loved the 52 top set. And of course, that's, uh, of course, grown on me as well. Um, I'd love to add like a, uh, like a, like a low grade Jackie Robinson or a low gate, low grade um, Willie Mays. So those are some of the cards that, uh, you know, I'll be keeping an eye on But it doesn't have to be the, I mean, it could be like a high grade Phil Rizzuto for all, you know what I mean? Like that would be really awesome. Um, something like that. But at the same time, if something else kind of sparks my interest at the show, I am open to changing my opinion if, <laughs> if that's what it comes down to. So anyway, that is my thoughts. Um, I'm also going to try to do as much content as I can while I'm there, hopefully share my experience with you guys, especially for those of you that are not able to make it. 
Uh, but like I said, guys, I hope that you're as excited about uh, the National as I am. I hope you're going. I hope that if you're on the fence, that maybe this pushes you over the top because it is a it is just uh, one of the greatest experiences. And, and if you're if you're literally going there to um, just take in the experience, I think that that's worth worth it uh, on its own. Like just go in there, walk in the floor, meeting everybody. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of like, uh, superstars signing autographs, a lot of influencer, you know, YouTube influencers, Gary V, you know, like the whole thing, like everyone's going to be there. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys will be there. Hopefully you say hello. If you're going to be, um, at the show on Friday and Saturday and let me know your thoughts. Am I being an idiot by selling Otani and Vlad, uh, or whoever, whoever happens to be the hot player, at the time of the show, uh, you let me know your thoughts. Um, I probably won't listen to them, but that's fine. <laughs> you can give me your thoughts. Um, thanks, guys, for listening and watching, and I will talk to you. Laser. Peace. Later. Peace.